What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Houston League and we're going to be doing another video on the Alice uh, quest here. Um, it is the Wonder Road Arcadia, which is the 55 AP Alice run. Uh, quite hard, um, especially if you only have uh, one healer. Uh, this is a one healer run, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it now. Um, the first thing that you want to know about the run is you definitely want to have a Kagatsushi or a KFC, the, the Firebird. If you don't have the Kagatsushi, you can use the Benki or the Azen. Um, but you definitely want to be able to mitigate a lot of that damage that's going to be coming through, okay? So something that's really important um, in the very beginning here as we are starting this match is um, making sure that you get your buffs up or your kagatsushi up or uh, some kind of damage mitigation up even like that um, that holy monster that you can uh, get like a barrier on yourself use that uh, just for the beginning um, using ether exchanges on your uh, characters just make sure that you're kind of ether exchanging almost at the same time uh, just so that your healer doesn't have to go around healing your uh, guys up with single targets like making his cooldowns go down and then making his cost go down so if you're going to use your ether exchange try to do it at the same time someone else is doing it so you can get you in a AOE heal or you can use his dignity if say all of you guys are using ether exchange you could use his dignity and it'll just heal you guys up like that so um, basically we're, I'm just telling people to buff up uh, as fast as you can um, get your guys' uh, haste up we are using haste in this uh video you don't necessarily have to use haste if you everyone has an ether exchange and your healer is competent enough especially if you have two healers and you're all using ether exchange as dps that's just fine you just use those two healers and then uh ether exchange up uh, that'll be okay you don't have to use the haste too much uh we are doing like a two buff three haste uh so that's what we're doing at at this point um, and I'm doing like buffs so that they can get more crit. We're getting another uh, Valkyrie up so we can get full 8 uh, buff up. And we have some crit there so that's nice. At this point we actually don't have a Kagatsushi so it's not uh, really it's not really imperative to get your Kagatsushi up right at the beginning. Like how some of the um, other raids are or other uh, battles are. You kind of can be okay with just a buff until at least the third one but um i would say by the third battle here you want to get your um kagatsushi up so that you can you don't have to worry about it too much so i think this is where we do it yeah so the bird goes up that's great kfc on our team now and then at this point we're just going to wait until we get our um uh haste and then we're also going to wait until we get our buffs up again and then we're just going to buff and haste as we go along. Um, as far as your skills that you're taking for say an archer or a lancer, you want to go ahead and take two attack skills, one ether exchange and then balancing. If you're going to kill the uh, black rabbit first, you want to take balancing and then if, you, if you're going to kill the uh, yellow rabbit first, uh, which is the buff rabbit you want to go ahead and take um, purification because the, the black rabbit actually does debuffs and then the white rabbit or the uh, yellow rabbit does um, buffs for his party which is you know Alice's party so that's why if you're uh, gonna kill the black rabbit first you want to go um, a, like at least two or three balancings uh, and then if you're gonna kill the yellow rabbit which is the buff guy first um, you wanna go purification so you can take off the black rabbit's uh, debuffs right so at this point I think we're gonna kill the we're killing the um, black rabbit first right so we're, we have a bunch of people with balancing um, and then make sure you guys are careful about um, attacking the dull hand captain as he does do the reflex damage so you just got to be careful um, when he does counter attack. That's the one that is 100% reflects damage. He's not going to take any damage. So you obviously don't want to attack him when he's doing counter attack. 
And then a lot of people throw up the blue X when he does counter attack so that your uh, team knows not to attack him. Fortunately, on this instance, we actually didn't have to um, face his his uh, counter attack ability. Um, Alright, so basically what we're doing at this point is um, we're just going to kill the regular guys first over here. The, um, the Kikimoras first. But we're basically just doing a haste unison all the way throughout. Uh, just so that we don't have to use too too much uh, ether exchange so that's pretty good um, yeah it looks it looks uh, like we're doing a pretty good job here of uh, just keeping our haste up and then keeping our buffs up as well as our kagetsushi hasn't gone down yet um, ether exchange is going out that's fine and then I'm not even healing at this point because I'm like okay um, maybe she's gonna I'm gonna get another ether exchange here that's fine. So she can uh, take a little bit of damage there before I have to um, heal. At that point, when you when those two people are already ether exchanged, I probably should have just pressed um, area recovery like that, uh, so that you can kind of heal two at once. But um, you know, other than that, it's doing pretty. Uh, we're doing pretty well here. All right. So I'm just uh, calling for buffs, you know. So. Uh, usually what you want to do is you attack before you unison so like you attack then you unison then somebody else attacks again that's kind of kind of called a staggering unison so uh, you don't want to pop your unison instantly because then it kind of like leaves you um, open for like kind of like not well I guess it, it's just it's more about um, not being able to do it to your full potential of damage so like you attack at the very beginning of the round then you unison and then you can attack after that and then unison so always cycle in attacks between unisons is pretty much the point and it'll just maximize the damage that you're outputting um, as you can see we are putting our haste up and um, the haste actually does build unison faster so uh, like a basic attack I think um, without any haste at all is going to give you I think it's like one or two unison and then if you do uh, haste you have the haste buff on it's like four unison for a basic attack so it, it it's giving you more unison for every time you attack and more unison for every time you're getting attacked pretty much any actions you're, you're doing while you're uh, hasted is going to be uh, increased amount of unison gain so that's why we use haste here it's pretty important uh, to the um, unison gain of your team um, at this point right here uh, I want to pause the video right here very important to put out a unison in the very beginning of this battle because the Jabberwock will do something I think it's called Vorpal something Vorpal attack or something and it does a huge amount of damage and you can get one shot at even though you have full buffs up especially if you're an archer and you have really low defenses and you're just using like fatal armors uh, but using a unison in the very beginning it gets him off of his rhythm uh, as a CPU and he doesn't use the Vorpal instantly. He will, he is able to use it again later, uh, but he doesn't do it instantly. If you just leave him alone in the very beginning like that, uh, and you just wait for him to attack, he'll use the Vorpal. And if you haven't used your unison already, he'll either kill you or you have to use your dignity like um, very well, like very well timed dignity, so that in between of his, his five attacks, your dignity goes up. Like say he attacks you twice and then it good the dignity goes and then the rest of the three attacks goes you can do it that way or you can have an A's in or you can uh, your KFC actually gets taken off and you die if you're like an archer with really low HP and you're getting like crit because it's like a f the Vorpal strikes of this uh, Jabberwock it's like five or six hits or something and it does really high damage so definitely suggest doing a debuff unison on the Jabberwock in the very start and I also suggest right here to do a debuff unison right at the start of this and um, right now I'm just saying hey we don't have any unisons up unison instantly like somebody unison uh, right now so right now we're just um, I'm just telling people hey don't don't do more unisons than this this one with that X and then now we're gonna attack once and then we're gonna pop another unison so I'm just making sure that um, I heal myself up here and then we did pop two unisons at this point and they're two Kagatsushis uh, because you know the Kagatsushis were 
um, laid out on, on my end. I, I actually don't have a ward, but we got two Kagatsushis. I'm saying A, it's okay, no problem. We can, um, I'll do the next unison. So we're gonna attack, and then I'll pop the unison right after we attack. So I'm saying attack, attack. I get, they get good amounts of attacks off, and then I pop the unison. Um, so I'm saying we should, we need to balance here. Uh, we got two damages off right here. And then I'm saying, okay, well, I guess we don't really need to balance, but we probably should balance at this point just because uh, it's going to put them to a negative eight instead of, I think it'll be like negative six, yeah. Okay, so the balance goes off on Yumi. As you can see, that now this all their stats are down to eight. I did pop the healing already. I do not have a dignity at this point, so I have to use my uh, area heals. And then looks like balancing right there um, on Lu Chan got uh, cancelled out by the paralyze. And now we're just using two unisons right here, just so that my um, dignity comes back up. Right? If we used one unison right here, we would have been in back in battle right now. My dignity still has five seconds left at that point. So using um, when you see your, your healer using dignity, it's a good idea to put, pop a unison combo so that his dignity comes back up, um, and you have a good amount of uh, you know healing at this point. So I'm saying, hey, pop your unison, guys. Don't wait for them to attack twice to pop your their unison. Always, you always want to pop your unison after one attack. Um, so you want to just make sure that you guys are alternating unisons, using unisons at the right time, attacking in between unisons, and making sure that um, your team doesn't die if you have a unison. You know, if you, if you have like three or four people with a unison and then one of your guys dies, it's really just, you know, one of your guys' fault. You should, one of you should at least pop unison, if not two of you, because, you know, you already have three people up with unison, so don't worry about it too much. So at this point, I'm kind of, uh, I see Lu Chan has his uh, paralyzed. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, get that paralyzed off, and then X, right? I'm saying X, uh, and then Lu Chan actually accidentally hit himself with that. But fortunately, um, Allison um, use a high attack, right? I mean, a fast attack right after uh, he hit himself, and I put the X down. But he was in danger of killing himself uh, at that point. So I got him uh, up with a heal. Now the heals are coming out smoothly. It, it looks like we're uh, home free here. Um, don't, don't look like we're getting any deaths here. And just for the seal, the deal, um, we got uh, we got Yumi putting up her uh, what is it called um, Lilith there, just to give him some extra debuff on damage. That is a high damage attack right there, um, and it is the um, one that takes down your. Uh, your cost generation, high damage AOE. Uh, Alice does have a huge amount of high damage AOE um, that hits the whole the whole room. That's why I suggest if you don't have like a really or a decent healer, you definitely want to go two healers. Um, so that's pretty much it for the run, guys. I, I know you guys can probably do it a little bit smoother, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys this run on the um, you know on the off chance that you don't have any strategies for it. So. Definitely, I uh, hope it helped you out uh, a lot, and I hope you guys uh, have some good luck with Alice. As you can see, I got some medals there, which is going to be very useful for getting the gun. Uh, the Alice bow or gun, whatever it is, the rabbit one. So, that's pretty much it for the run, guys. Um, so, you know, some notable points about it is just making sure that you have your Kagatsushi up at all times, and then rotating out your unisons on the correct ways as well as having either two healers or one healer that knows uh, what he's doing so all right that's about it for this one guys definitely tell me what you guys thought about the video uh, give me the thumbs up if you guys like the video and then you can uh, definitely hit up the comments below tell me what you guys want in the next video I really help it will help me out and um, you know I always like to hear from uh, you guys so uh, yeah that's about it for this one guys as always thank you guys for watching and take it easy. Peace.